Go. Hey y'all. So we are about ready to set up this heifer over here for artificial insemination. You might hear a tractor and everything come in the background. But what I do is I've got my semen tank ready to go. I've got all of the products and everything that I'm gonna need. I've got my rod ready to AI. So what I'm gonna do, the first step is, is I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna get out my semen. And I'm going to get the straw of semen and I'm going to put it in what is called the thaw unit. And then what I'm going to do is this stays in here for 45 seconds. So I've got my alarm and then while that is doing that and thawing out, I'm going to go ahead and get my um, glove and everything ready to go in for the process of the artificial insemination as well. And then basically you wanna to try to get everything done as quickly as you can um, once, the theme, once the semen thaws. And so what I've got right now is I've got the rod just kinda warming up in my shirt to keep it warm uh, as well. And so once the timer goes off, we will retrieve the semen i'll put it for 44 minutes and um no, so we it's should right. be good um and it can stay actually in the thaw unit for a little bit longer if you need it to but what i'm going to do is the next step is i'm going to take this out and go ahead get my semen and everything loaded basically in the gun so you always put the, and I apologize, what I'm gonna do is I gotta dry this off really fast. Might have jumped the step. But what I do is I put the cotton in, in first. And like I said, this is timed. So you wanna kinda go as quick as you can. And I literally cut off the end of the tip. And then I put my sheath on. And then I basically roll, roll my sheet up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to let the rod barely tip where the end of it is. Put it in my shirt for it to stay warm. I'm going to come over here. Well, somebody grab that lube real fast. Yeah. And I'm going to lube up my arm. Well, maybe. <laughs> And then I'm going to come around here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my hand in her rectum. And then this is a heifer, so she's a little bit more tight. And then I'm going to go ahead and find my cervix. And then I'm going to insert my rod at a 45 degree angle and up into the... Um, you basically through the vulva and then I will insert the semen. I've got to manipulate the cervix. She's definitely in heat because you can see the goo and everything um, as well. And where this is a heifer, her cervix is a little bit more tight. And so I'm gonna find the cervix with my rod. And this part always tends to take me forever, just to be honest. Um, because I, you know, I know what I'm doing. However, I'm not, I don't do a bunch at a time where I can just go in and boom, right there it is. You have to get through some vaginal folds to find the cervix. And once I find my cervix, I'm going to de deposit the semen. And then uh, hopefully we'll check her in about 30 days to see if she's bred. And that'll be it.